take to the next slide. And get Thank you. Okay. So on February 15th, 2022, which is two years exactly today, my 17-year-old daughter, Jillian, and I, we walked into a, our family physician's office for her well-child check. And while we were there, the doctor put her stethoscope onto Jill's chest, and she turned to me and she said, when did Jill get this heart murmur? And so that appointment led to us going to see a pediatric cardiologist in Des Moines. And from there, you know, we had the diagnosis of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And those words, severe and obstructed, they were still lingering in the air when we were waking up in Omaha, Nebraska to see specialists one week later. We would, she went ahead and did a battering of tests, and then on Thursday, April 21st, 2022, the doctors were able to come back and give us our very last um, test result, which was her genetic test that she was positive for the MYBPC3 gene, which connects her to HCM. She came home from school that day. We were going, they, we went ahead and made a, an arrangement to see them on Monday and kind of get a plan of action. She came home an hour and a half later after I hung up the phone with the doctor, and I told her what, what they discovered, and she said, okay, that's about what I expected. She ran up the stairs where she had a sudden cardiac arrest. I was able to get up to the stairs within a minute or two. Um, there was a lady who lived across the street who actually sold AEDs, so I had an AED on her within two minutes. But unfortunately, our efforts, um, the efforts of the EMS and the hospital staff were not successful, and we lost Jillian that day. So, Jill was a very funny and outgoing girl. She loved music, she loved Harry Styles, he was her favorite. She loved art, she was really, really bad in algebra. And she wanted to be a designer one day. After Jill's death, I started, it was like an explosion went off and I started connecting dots within my family. And I talked to lots of families on my, uh, members of my paternal, paternal side. And I found out that we had a lot of similar heart problems. With the help of Omaha, we were able to get all of my siblings, all of my cousins tested, and when we discovered that I had HCM, half my siblings had HCM, 25% uh, of my cousins had HCM. And from then, we now have, many of us have ICDs and have had myectomies. We have also lost them. My brother has died in a, um, a surgery that was a valve surgery for an enlarged heart. My nephew has had two myectomies. My sister had a sudden cardiac arrest five months after my my daughter died. And I just say that she died of a broken heart since we're not ever sure exactly what it was. But my family is actually lucky because of Jillian, because she was our call to action. Because of her, my, my family has the power of knowledge to be able to fight against an, a, an invisible gene. Um, but not all families are that lucky. But there is hope for them. Had there been big questions that were in place when I took all of my girls to their well child checks that we were asked each time, so that in 2010 when my nephew had his first myectomy, or in 2015 when my brother had died on the surgical table from his HCM, maybe some of the doctors could have put it together that we needed to do a little bit more investigation. Or when my 91-year-old father, who had HCM, and that's how he went down too, he had a sudden cardiac arrest, but if he had gone into his Medicare first visit and was able to tell them that he had seven siblings who died, all of cardiac arrests, maybe that would have been a trigger to have them look at us a little bit easier. If we had gotten the treatment earlier, I'm hoping, you know, it would have been hopeful that she could have got diagnosed earlier, which would have led to earlier treatment and maybe would have saved Jill's life. And lastly, I am a nurse uh, in Iowa and I worked at a family, I work at a family practice a clinic. It would take me five extra seconds of my day to ask these questions to a patient. And it would help save thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, and keep thousands of family intact and whole. I wish it wasn't me standing here, and I wish it wasn't my daughter, I wish it wasn't my family, and I wish it wasn't that I know the heartbreak that people go through. I wake up every day and I live a nightmare. But it is me, and it is my family, and it's my wish and my hope. And I wouldn't be standing here and none of you would be hearing my voice if it wasn't for the life of a girl named Jillian Blair and she had HCM. <laughs>